Site hosting for five websites is included in your Creative Cloud membership. If you want to host more than five sites with Adobe, that's okay too. You can host them with Business Catalyst for an additional monthly hosting fee per site. Let's go ahead and learn more. Adobe offers several ways for you to create your site. You can use Muse or Adobe Dreamweaver. You can even use your own tool if you'd like. Muse is for designers who want freeform design and don't want to write code. Dreamweaver is for web professionals who want to develop their sites to the very latest web standards. Business Catalyst Site Builder is a template-driven, browser-based website design tool. The first thing you want to do is choose which tool you want to use to build your site. Let's look at the publishing workflow for Muse. Muse is a great tool to use if you're a designer and you want to create a site using freeform design and you don't want to have to write any code. When it's time, you can publish your website to the Adobe servers using Muse. You can also get to Adobe Business Catalyst right from within Muse. This allows you to upgrade your temporary site to a live site, redeeming one of your five websites. You can also add users to your site or see analytics for your site. Now, you can publish as many temporary sites as you like. A temporary site will expire if it's been inactive for 30 days. It's meant to be used for you to share with your clients and test the functionality. Once you're ready to publish a site and apply your own unique domain name that doesn't include Business Catalyst, that's when you redeem your site hosting and upgrade to a live site. When you have a temporary site, it's going to have the Business Catalyst name in the URL, but when it's pushed live as a real site, you can have your own domain name appear. You have to buy your own domain name. No fee for hosting your five sites. That's included in your Creative Cloud membership. But the domain name you're going to have to get on your own. You'll see a listing of all of the websites that you're managing here on the right-hand side.